Alrighty, what's up guys? It's Lachlan here, and it's been a while since I've said that type of intro. I mean, these days, modern YouTube meta, you gotta get straight into the video or people clicked off. Ain't nobody got time for a name. Hopefully, you know my name though. It's kind of the title of the channel. Getting straight into it, two years ago, I signed one of my biggest deals that I've ever signed as a content creator. And this, of course, was a two-year exclusive live streaming deal with YouTube. Now, the thing you guys need to realize is that before this opportunity, I wasn't a streamer. For the longest part of my now nine year career in this space, I've always focused on VOD driven gaming content. Whether it's Minecraft, Pokemon Go, VR games, and now Fortnite, I've always focused on VOD. I know I've dabbled a little bit in the streaming, you know, a little bit in the Minecraft days, but it's been VOD first always. And this opportunity changed that. I was kind of split down the middle between streaming and gameplay. And I'm not gonna lie, streaming, is a different game. It's hard. The beauty of VOD is that you can be a little bit of a perfectionist with it. You can control all of the elements or most of the elements of the video. Streaming, not so much. It's more raw and I, and I see the appeal to that, but I personally find it hard myself as a viewer. If the event I'm not watching isn't an event, I'm not interested in watching it. Being fully transparent with you guys, the first 16 months of this streaming experience was pretty pure bliss. I was enjoying Fortnite. You enjoy the game. You of course enjoy streaming the game, but the last six months have been an absolute grind. Like I have struggled to get the hours in and I think the viewers are exhausted in it as well. I think the whole formula of watching someone streaming, playing the game just to win is outdated in my opinion. And feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, but I feel like the viewers are bored of that as well. And that's why I want to double down back on VOD because outside of hosting unique events like our Squid Games event, there isn't much value in streaming. Again, just my opinion, and there are some streamers out there who bring such a valuable and unique perspective and personality that definitely does warrant entertainment value. But for me personally, I don't think that's where my strengths lie. And so now that we're at the end of the streaming content, I am announcing that I am going to strictly focus going back to VOD. However, I am currently very burnt out of the game. It's highly speculated that we are going to get chapter three at the end of this season. And with that, I am going to take an extended break. My first ever extended break that I've ever taken in eight to nine years. Yes, we've been grinding. All right. I think that's pretty obvious. And this is by far the hardest decision I've ever had to make because it will be hard for me to fight the restriction of getting back into this like they're gonna put a new pistol in the game next week and i'm gonna have to fight up the urge to hit up weege my editor and be like yo we gotta do a video here but i think it's for the best and i think one of the big problems of this eight nine year grind is that you're trying to tread water with the everyday work of making videos you don't get enough time to step back and look at the macro you're only focusing on the micro of the everyday video i want to take this month to just completely take a step back and look at the landscape of everything. I just want to focus on making some of the best gaming content on this platform. One of the ways I've tried to elevate the content is through the group videos we do over at Power. I think those videos are very one of one and they stand out to me as a great viewing experience. And I'm putting a lot of effort into every video that goes live on that channel. So if you guys haven't seen it or haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you do link in the description. And that's why, again, this streaming deal was so hard. I started Power halfway through it and ever since then, I have been treading water, trying to meet my streaming commitments, trying to upload, you know, regular VOD content, trying to launch a shorts channel in the middle of this as well. I'll be the first to admit I spread myself way too thin the last year. Power in itself and everything we're doing is very ambitious in the space of gaming and it's hard and I need to focus more of my time on it because we have some amazing opportunities and partnerships in the works and I want to keep building on that team and keep building on the people around it and part of that involves finding a CEO to help me run it alongside me because I need to focus on my content and power and I need someone to help me run power and as you can imagine there aren't CEOs everywhere and that's one of the big things I'm going to be focusing on during this hiatus is trying to find that leadership or power alongside myself so that I can focus on my content and also work on power. Because power is my baby. It's more than just esports. It's more than just content. It's more than just creative experiences and video games. It's an ecosystem. It's our contribution 
to the metaverse at the moment specifically epics metaverse i think we're doing pretty well so far and i'm excited to see where we keep on going with it but there's only so many hours in a day and trying to focus on all of them it's hard i think another one of the short-term core goals for power is to build up our production team at the moment we are quite small but we do focus on quality heavy and i think that's reflected on the videos we post on power we don't post often but when we post, I think we deliver. I wanna try and up the quantity of that. And that involves getting more people involved. So if you're talented and have some amazing creative ideas on how gaming content can be seen in 2022, I'd love to get in contact with you. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who are qualified and interested in getting involved. Before we wrap things up though, I do wanna give a massive thank you to YouTube Gaming for this opportunity. Like I said at the start, I'm always down to try new things. I genuinely, enjoyed streaming with my audience and connecting with you guys and i don't want to cross out streaming again in the future i think it's something i could look to try and do again but right now like i said in the start of this video my goals are with vod content and you never know what happens in the future you might see me streaming it might be here it might be somewhere else i might not do it all together who knows but yeah i think i'll see you guys in around a month make sure to stay updated by following my socials and of course power socials for when my first video back will be. I'm looking forward to this break and I'm looking forward to see you guys again. I'll of course still be producing content over on the Power Channel as well. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.